Warning. The subject covered in today's video has been known to invoke confusion and outrage amongst the hardcore camping community, especially for those on Reddit. In this video, there will be tents, comfortable bedding, electricity, fans, and an air conditioner. Viewer discretion is advised. You know, a lot of times, especially in the Southeast, camping can be grueling in the summer and fall. High temperatures mixed with an unnecessary amount of humidity can make a tent unbearable during the day and a miserable soggy mess at night. Now, I know I've said this before, but one of the reasons I started camping again was due to the fact that when my wife and I were just starting out with our young kids, we didn't have extra money for vacations and camping was an inexpensive way to get out, relax and have fun. We'd set up our base camp in places we wanted to vacation and use that extra money that we save for activities with the kids. Now, the desire for an air-conditioned tent was born from our time camping at Pensacola Beach, where we'd have a great time until we got back to camp and had no way to cool down. This obviously didn't go over well with my sweet lady or the kiddos. Now I have the opportunity to try and make an air-conditioned tent, and I'm going to share that process with you guys today. First, we need a tent that fits the bill. Now, this is a little bit harder than you'd think it'd be. And unless you're using canvas, a four season tent or a hub tent, you're probably gonna run into issues with mesh panels that just can't be covered up. Now, the tent I'm using is a Coleman connectable tent. It does have some miles on it, but I can zip all the windows up. It does have a separate door to run the exhaust out of. So the only thing that we have to worry about is covering the mesh ceiling. Now, with a little bit of ripstop nylon and some self-adhesive Velcro, we could create a removable cover that'll seal that area up and keep the air conditioner from drawing in too much outside air. Now, I'm going to set all this up and we're going to get the test going. Keep in mind, it's the beginning of August and we are in the middle of a heat wave. Now, this is going to be a full sunlight test and we'll also measure the nighttime temperatures as well, just to get an idea and a better understanding of how well it works under extreme stress versus more suitable conditions. So to start, I took some measurements and ran over to Hobby Lobby for some cheap ripstop nylon. Next, I ordered more self-adhesive Velcro than I thought I would ever need in my lifetime and went to work measuring, marking, and cutting the pieces I needed to cover the mesh ceiling. This was not that difficult, but in my measurements, I did not take into account the curvature of the tent ceiling, so there was not as much wiggle room in the finished product as I would have liked it to have had. But in the end, the pieces fit and they did what I needed them to do. All right, so we got all six of our self-adhesive panels made. We got them attached, covering up all the mesh in the ceiling here. So the only thing left to do is to go ahead and get our air conditioner in here and start our next test. For the AC unit, I decided to go with this new air portable air conditioner. It's small and lightweight at 45 pounds, so it can easily be transported. It also has a sack rating of 6,800 BTU, so it can be used to cool my garage as well during the summer. Just a quick look at the included items that come with the AC unit. We have the unit itself, instructions, a remote, a tensioner for the window adapter, the window adapter itself, the vent hose, and a drain for the dehumidifier. Normally you will not need the drain hose as the air conditioner is self evaporative, but since this will be outside in a tent, we will attach it for good measure. Now let's go install this in the tent. So the controls on these are pretty basic. Up and down for the temperature, uh, fan control, which is low and high mode. You basically got air conditioner, dehumidifier and fan. You have your timer and of course your power button. And all these things are accessible from the remote also. So I do think it was a good idea to go with a tent with two doors. The reason being is having this dedicated area where I can vent out the hot air and drain out the water from the dehumidifier. Um, I think it works in a couple of ways. One, I don't have to worry about somebody possibly coming in and out and tripping over it, knocking the hose loose or knocking uh, this hose loose, especially this one right here because it's a dehumidifier. Also, you're not going to have to worry about there being a puddle of water right in front of the area where you come in and out of your tent. So um, if possible, if you're going to do this, definitely uh, you know, try and get a two-door setup. It's going to make life a little bit easier. All right, so we got everything installed here. We got a little new air going and uh, got it kicking out. Venting out our uh, hot air to the outside. Got our drain hose for our dehumidifier. And of course we got our ceiling sealed up and got my little battery powered ceiling fan in here to help circulate the air around. 
temperature is not too bad. 77 degrees. It is bringing it down pretty steady. But this is probably going to be more of the evening test than anything, given that it's about 6 o'clock. So it's definitely not the hottest part of the day. And, uh, you know, I want to be as honest as I can with this test. So we'll, uh, we'll make this the nighttime portion of the test. We'll check back in here a couple hours after the sun goes down see what kind of temperature we have and then tomorrow we'll run our daytime test okay so it's around 11 30 the temperature is 69 degrees and about 67 percent humidity that's a difference of 14 degrees from the outside air now i know of course it's going to work much more effectively at night without having to contend with the sun and we're going to run that test tomorrow but with that being said i'm going to get some sleep and i'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon all right, so I kind of did this test backwards due to the late start I got yesterday, but here are the results from our daytime test. Now, right now it's around 2.30 in the afternoon and the outside temperature is 91 degrees. The temperature inside the tent is 76 degrees at 67% humidity. Now that's a 16 degree difference, which isn't bad at all. Now this wraps up the testing portion of this video, so let's move on to my final thoughts. So all in all, I think the test was a success. If I were to change anything, I'd probably cover the top of the tent with a reflective tarp just under the rain flies. It might reflect even more heat away. Now, as I said before, this isn't going to be for everyone. You're going to need to modify or have the right type of tent, along with a portable air conditioner, a means to tote it around, and a way to power the entire thing. This isn't something I'd use for a weekend camping trip, but if I were going to go on an extended trip or I was going someplace on vacation and I didn't want to drop a bunch of money for a hotel or a condo, I wouldn't have any problem with this type of setup. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you guys along with me on this project. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll leave some links in the description below for the air conditioner and the portable ceiling fan if you're interested. Now, with all that being said, my name is Patrick with Uncle Bill's Camping. Thanks for stopping by to check out my video, and I will see you fine people the next time around.